So I haven't made a video in an extremely long time, but I thought I'd make this one because a lot of us got this controller early, the DualSense controller for the PS5, and none of us have the console if you're like the average person, besides the reviewers. So when I was looking for how to use this controller on a PC, there was like two videos, and one of them was by using the X360 um, app on your desktop, which you have to download. And I tried that on Modern Warfare, and it works, but I think there's an easier method to using this controller on the PC, and that is through Steam, and this will be a wired connection. I don't have Bluetooth in my PC, I'm assuming that if you have Bluetooth it would work the same as long as your computer picks up the controller. So the main issue right now is that our PCs don't pick this up as the actual PS5 controller. It's going to come up as a generic controller or generic gamepad. And so we have to wait probably a while longer until they actually give us the actual drivers for this controller so it could just work when you plug it into your computer and want to play Fortnite or Modern Warfare just like it does with the PS4 controller or the Xbox One or 360 controller. What you have to do is plug this in either through Bluetooth or with a USB-C cable to your computer and open up Steam. So once you're in Steam you'll get this message asking you if you're using a controller. It's going to tell you to use big picture mode which is up here, you don't have to use it. You can actually get to the controller settings from right up here, settings, controller, and there's general controller settings, and this is where your gamepad will show up. I have my flight stick plugged in, it's right there. And then this is the PS5 controller. It might tell you just generic gamepad, but I renamed it, or it might tell you that it's actually the controller. So you're gonna go in there, and in here, you can actually, right now I'm on the controller and you can define the layout and you're going to have to map all the buttons to how you want them and that's where you do that. You can save and go back. So that's how you know if your controller is actually plugged in and working. Now, to use it in a game, so you if you're using it through Steam, you should already be able to use it in all of these games once it shows up in that. But let's say you want to use it on Fortnite or something like that. That's not in Steam, so you're going to have to add it to your library. And to do that, you go to Games, add a non-Steam game, then it shows all the things on your computer. You're going to pick, um, in this case, for Fortnite. You don't actually pick Fortnite. You pick the Epic Games launcher. So you're going to go in here. And I already did it, so I don't even know if you could see it here, but you would find Epic Game Launcher there, and you would add it. Mine is already in here, so Epic Games Launcher, and then from here you'll launch Epic Games instead of through the normal place on your computer. I think you could do this with Battle.net and Call of Duty as well. I used another method to get um, the controller working on Call of Duty, but... Uh, I think it works this way, if you just do it as a non-Steam and add Battle.net launcher and then launch the game once you open it from Steam. So right now we're in Epic Games Launcher and we're going to go in and uh, launch Fortnite. And remember, we are in the launcher through Steam right now. And we got a message, I don't know if you guys caught that, but... It showed us like the Steam um, message right here once we were like once we booted the game. So that's how you know if it's actually booted through Steam when you get that access Steam friends or whatever that message says. So we're gonna wait till this boots up. See right here, access the Steam community while playing. That's how you know that you're running Fortnite as a non-Steam game. And. Once it loads here, you should be able to just use your controller. So right now you see my cursor, I just pressed X on the controller and it went away. So I think it should work. And yeah, boom. And that's how you can get Fortnite on the DualSense controller. Uh, you might 
have the Xbox controls when you first do it, but Fortnite lets you switch it in the settings. So, um, if anything, if you get that, just go over here uh, to settings, and right there on the bottom left, you can change it from generic to Xbox One or PS4. It's the PS5 controller. There's no like actual setting for it yet, but it's the same as PS4. So that's how you do that, and the game is up and running and it works on your controller. Everything is mapped to how I mapped it in the Steam settings. The only thing is that I accidentally put the back button, or in this game, the touchpad as the back button. So make sure you uh, bind the touchpad on the controller to the right one in the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit here and uh, try uh, Call of Duty. And you're gonna do the same thing. You would go to games, add an on scene game, and then you'll find Battle.net. So, this is the Battle.net launcher. I'm gonna hit play. The launcher actually opened up on my other monitor. So, yeah, I hit play. And I got the same thing on the bottom here. It said access Steam community. So, that's how I know I'm running the Battle.net launcher through Steam. Go ahead and minimize that. Bring this up. And we'll get through the boot screens or the splash screens. And as you can see, for Call of Duty, I don't think there's a setting that you can set it to the PS4 layout. So it automatically sets it to the Xbox One. See, it says A and all that. But it is the same. As the PS4 one and you should be able to use everything just the same so originally I used the x360 input mapper method to uh, get my controller working on here so I don't know if that's overlapping with the steam or whatever but I'm pretty sure it still works if you just use the steam method which is the easiest way right now to do this um, that's about it. It's really easy once uh, you get it up and going. Again, I haven't made a video in a long time. And I only made this because there wasn't that many uh, explanations on how to do it. So, hope this helped.